Hi, it's Susie with another quick exercise tip. This week I wanted to share with you a couple of simple ways to start to get a painful shoulder moving through different ranges to try and make sure they don't stiffen up too much. Now all you're going to need for this is something like I've got a broomstick here and what you're going to do is you're going to hold the broomstick in the hand of the arm that is painful or stiff or a little bit limited and we're going to run through a few different movements. Now to start with I'm going to start with my hand roughly in the middle of the broomstick and I'm going to use the other hand to push the arm up as high as I can making sure that I'm only staying in a range that's not painful for that shoulder. And I really want to emphasize here that as I'm doing the movement, I'm trying to keep this arm as relaxed as possible. I'm using the other hand to strengthen this shoulder to push the other arm up just to where is that comfortable position. That's one of the movements. We also then want to push back as far as we comfortably can. Again, making sure that the rest of our posture stays nice and still. So I don't want to be leaning forward as I'm bringing the arm back. I want to stay up nice and tall, bring the arm back just to a comfortable position and then back to the middle, controlling it all through that other arm. Now we also want to bring the arm up to the side. So this time we're going to bring the palm facing forward and I'm going to use this hand. So remember, this is my painful shoulder to bring the arm up as high as I comfortably can and then bringing it back down. And you'll notice with the shoulder and the way it moves, it's not straight pushing to the side, it's arcing up so that it's following the natural position that the shoulder will move into. But again, only in a position that's not painful. You might only be able to get this far to begin with. That's perfectly fine. It's a good safe starting point. Now the final movement that we wanna try and do is we want to hold over the top and we're gonna bring the arm out and back to the side like so. It, when you're doing this movement here, you need to be able to get to around shoulder height before you attempt this movement without any pain so that you can experience the movement properly. So we're gonna hold, we're gonna use this hand to drive the movement and it's almost like I'm rowing and I'm using the arms in an oar type motion except my right arm is just holding on to the stick. My left arm is doing all of the work. And again, only moving into that pain-free position. Now, if you're starting out, you should look to do about four or five of those repetitions in each of those directions. Remembering that last position is reserved for being able to lift to shoulder height without any pain. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. Stay safe, stay active, and I'll see you soon for another quick exercise tip.